tell you what, what a trip this is turning out to be. The intention was today to go on a real big lake. I had two lakes in mind, me and, me and Shaz. And um, we got there, and I don't know if you can make out in between these trees, but it's it's been proper stormy. And it, it wasn't forecasted this storm. Big electrical storms have come past. Got to the lakes. Absolutely no way I could launch a boat. It, it's just too miles too dangerous, especially with the missus with me. So it was a case of, oh, what do we do? Do we go home? We're like 300, 300 um, odd mile away from the, our base. So I thought, I'm not going home. I'm going to the canal, but then I realised I'd only brought my block house with me, all my little bivvies. We were back at home, so I don't want to be putting a block house up in a canal. One, it, it draws attention to you, so last thing I want, but it's peeing down. Got no choice, anyways. I'm just put up at dusk. I put it, I pack it away in the morning. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get one. You never know, but poor old Shaz. She's up in a van up there, absolutely drenched. <laughs> Went for the bike ride, got caught in it. I'm absolutely soaked. <laughs> the, the bed chairs are absolutely soaked, but hey, you know what, we're out with fishing, so you never know. <laughs> Let's go and see Shaz, see how she's doing. <laughs> how are you doing, sweetheart? You enjoying yourself? <laughs> Beautiful weather, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'll take you to some stunning places. Don't you just yet? Oh, look at that. Look at that for the sky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been lightning bolts directly above us, so probably the best place for us in the van. You never know. We're going to catch, love it. Well, probably in this weather, yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you've, been a, you've been a carp fishing woman for a long time, you know, and it is good weather. Let it move. Yeah, it's still quite savage that weather though. So we're here. Let's see if we can catch one. We'll take a look at this. Just gone to bait up down there and I stumbled across these on the bank. Big swan mussels. I have seen a few uh, mink on here and I do know it's the odd otter so chances are it'd be a mink or an otter. Yeah look at the size of those swan mussels. No wonder the carp can get big in here natural food like that he hasn't even eaten all the meat i used to use swan mussels for bait 30 odd years ago and um they've got like a bright vivid orange bit of meat in them and that's the bit they want that's the nutritional bit or the rest is just just waste really but yeah it takes some power to open a swan mussel that's for sure <laughs> and that's a fresh one that so whatever it is we will be back sure of it Oh, stunning evening. Rain's disappearing now, so it's looking magical. Now these canals are magical. The storm has, has disappeared now. And you've got about 30 minutes of daylight left. There's the old block house. It's <laughs> too big for the canal. Shouldn't be on the canal with that, but hey ho. <laughs> Now that is a magical sight. We're only in second week of May. So it's um, touch and go whether the fish, the carp are thinking about spawning. It's been a cold spring this one, so no signs of me yet. The roach and bream have started, so the carp won't be far behind, but yeah, a couple more weeks yet, I think. So we get a pick up tonight. I thought the storm had disappeared, but it's, it sounds like it's on its way back here, a bit of thunder on its way, but that's what storms tend to do, they tend to swirl around, but all's good, rods are out, we're in the bivet. Nice sunset over there. Says it's all tucked up. You happy now, babes? Oh, are you doing? <laughs> you never wind at all, do you, babe? Yeah, let's see what happens. Well, the crayfish are certainly active, that's for sure. The, um, it's only the start of May, really, so I didn't think they'd be that active. I, I fished this section about four weeks ago and uh, I didn't get no crayfish activity at all. But they're definitely on the munch now. 
that was a 22 mil bottom bait and um, 20 mil pop up. Pop up's totally gone and the hard, it was a rock hard bottom bait, um, it's been nibbled away. So, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna sack the boilers off, I'm gonna go on the tiger nuts. Some more swan mussels, they're absolutely everywhere. But whatever it is, is gorging themselves on him. But look at that. Yeah. Natural food are plenty in this canal. Got them, swan mussels, zebra mussels, crayfish. And totally deserted of anglers. <laughs> Mega. Oh, check this out. This is better than a blockhouse <laughs> for the canal, anyways. Went to um, the castle on this morning. Thought there's no way I can carry on using that blockhouse. I normally just sleep under the stars, but I've got the missus with us. It's been chucking down as well, but yeah, got both bed chairs in it. Just. <laughs> well, it was a an X display one, and um, so I got it for 100 euros. So what a result that is. <laughs> it's actually pretty decent as well. Those are old enough, it reminds me of the old um, Bob Morris, um, Scruffy Bob, I think we used to call him. That's what it reminds me of. <laughs> yes. New section as well. I fished this one a few times, so I know there's always a few carp around here, so I'm going to give it a night here and try somewhere new tomorrow. So we kept one. All right, got all the rods out now. Got one down that margin, one in the middle. One across on the far side. This is all tucked up in the bivvy. Been for a long bike ride. They always bring the bike with us. Or bikes. Oh, she's been bike riding. Called into the shop a couple of beers on the way back. Oh, was great in the world. There she is, tucked up. What do you think of that new bivvy, love? You liking it? Yeah, it's lovely, thanks, love. <laughs> I'll spoil your sweetheart. And I'll have a look, this is the result. She picked up these jam tarts on the way back. I do love a jam tart, yeah. Proper treat. <laughs> Let's see which rods. I've already had a few liners. Well, little beeps and I think crayfish. But I've got tiger nuts on his bait, so I know I'm going to be fishing all night and um, not, not be fishing without any bait on the hook. Let's catch one. Let's catch a big in tonight. Canal beauty. I'll take a look at that. That's my um, double Brazil nut. I mean, Brazil nuts, they're normally foolproof for the old um, crayfish. But that Brazil nut there has been, um, it's been clawed to death. Only half of it left. If that was a boiler, it'd be completely gone, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Big up the Brazil nut. <laughs> and the other bait I'm using is, um, double large tiger nut. That is a big tiger nut as well then. And what I've done, I've drilled out the centres, put a piece of cork through them, and all it does, it just nullifies the weight of the hook. So it's just like a, well, it's like, it makes it a critically balanced hook bait really. It takes the weight, the cork takes the weight out the hook. Big size one hook. Yeah, perfect. Let's catch those carp. Have a look at this for the fish. Absolutely beautiful. It's about half ten. It's been it's been dark for about an hour. Thirty four pound of of canal carp. Absolutely stunner. Double tiger up this one. Beautiful. I don't, it's be difficult to make out in the night, but it's like a golden colour with a tinge of red to it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely stunning fish. Really, really happy with that. Look at that. That is a beautiful fish. It's a beautiful fish. I'm gonna put him back. Mwah! <laughs> Thanks for your help, sweetheart. Cheers. No point keeping them in the retainer for ages. Bit of nighttime footage. Back she goes. <laughs> Lovely. We're happy with that one. <laughs> yes, just put that one back. Literally 15 minutes. Uh, just got back in the um 
in a sleeping bag and off, off it rod again. Oops. It's a brace of canal of canal 30s. What a brace. This one's just over 30 pounds, 31 pounds. But it's it's longer than the other fish. It did half put a fight up. What an absolute beauty. I'm overjoyed with that one. <laughs> Just overjoyed to get a pickup. Absolutely beautiful. That is a stunning fish that. Yes. <laughs> oh. Let's see it. On that far margin, hooking that tree line. <laughs> oh, this has been carnage. This, as you can see, I've got one in the net, I've got one in a retainer, and I've just had this. It's all within the last hour. <laughs> what a spell at first light! Oh, Tricky this. Oh, sure, when they're on the feed, they're on the feed. <laughs> That's a nice fish, that as well. Beautiful morning. <laughs> and the one in the net's a big old mirror. <laughs> That's a half decent common that. Coming, just down at first light. Absolutely magnificent. It's a four fish over 30 pounds in one night from the canal. <laughs> Does it get much better? Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Oh, beautiful fish. Well, check this out for that big mirror. What a lump. Look at the size of its tail. <laughs> you can call it. Right, this is the big mirror. Scales have been zeroed. You call it, Shaz. Say 38. <laughs> oh, it's pretty bad, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do know that's your brew cup, don't you, love? Oh, check this out. Just never in a million days thought this would have popped up from the canal, but. Just shows <laughs> what Ooh. a chunky fish that is. Yeah. What a beaut. What an absolute beautiful fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's another side of that mirror. 
spot a fish. You can probably make out, even though it's, it's quite dark, it's just first light, but it's got a reddish tinge where it's been eating the crayfish. What a beast. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's put him back. Thanks for your help, love. Let's put him back. Go on, up you go. Go on, you big chunk. Yes, what an absolutely brilliant night's fishing that was. Four, four thirty pound carp from the canal. Is um, yeah, it's magical, magical fishing really. <laughs> three, three thirty pound commons. That big mirror, and then I had two others as well. That lovely, beautiful, scaly little mirror, and a little common I put back as well. And um, yeah, it's just, um, I think it just timed it perfect really. We've had a bit of a hot spell, and it's cooled down, and um, we've got this. Drizzly type rain. And there we go. It's um, with plenty of bait. I found the fish. First spot, first location. Didn't get a bite. And um, yeah, so we moved. Yeah, it's all come good. Poor old Shad, she's been up all night. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'll take a look at that. Look at how beauty that is. You know what, it's only a small fish, but it's absolutely beautiful. It just goes to show you, just never know what you're going to catch. Beauty. How's this for a canal stunner? What a beautiful fish. Magnificent. Just proves you never know what you're going to catch on the canal. What a magnificent mirror that is. <laughs> yes, let's put him back. Well, the weather is absolutely perfect today day after that big haul of fish it's all gone quiet like it, it seems to um like yesterday didn't get a single bite in a day and it just all kicked off at night and it's, it's well it looks like the same pattern today that's one zips off in a bit who knows but they're all out there conditions are good weather's still mixed cloudy overcast it stopped raining but it's been non-stop rain it has rained all night last night but yeah it's looking great one more night here, and then um, I'm going to do the last night somewhere else. Somewhere totally new. Now, I'll take you from my rig, just before I put it out there. So I've got a box standard three ounce watch lead. They're just cheap sea fishing um, leads. Uh, bought them off eBay, getting for about 60 pence each for a three ounce one. Um, got a big heavy duty snag leader. That's 70 pound snag leader. And I've got 40 pound braid on. But I've got um, using a combi link, that's a boom section, heavy, heavy duty, that's 50 pound boom section link. That's 50 pound, um, the, the supple section's tough as well. Um, size one hook and double tiger nut. And I've, I've drilled the centre of the tiger nuts out, bit of caulking, and all it does, it just takes the weight out the hook. So it's like um, just finely balanced really. Yeah, there's no need for fancy leads if you look. At the water colour of the canal, it's murky colour, so there's no way they're going to see the leads down there. I'm using tiger nuts because of the crayfish, yeah, it's worked a treat. <laughs> Six carp so far on it, <laughs> beautiful. Put the rods out now and let's see if we can catch one. All right, let's get that rod out there. This one's going about two thirds of the way across. There's a few um, branches getting away. Yeah. Walk a bit further on. Got a tree. There we go, that's better. Oh, perfect, absolutely perfect that. Put a back there on it. I'm not expecting no bolts in the night, but you never know. It has been known for a few, so um, rock up. Let's run out a few bevies. <laughs> it's always good practice for backleads, though, I think. It just stops. If we get a fish on one rod, it's not going to interfere with the other rod in these shallow canals.
and we're fishing. Now, one thing I'll show you now, a little tip this, I use it all the time on the boat, but I'm only fishing a short distance out, so the chance of getting a drop back is very remote. But because I'm fishing over maize and tiger nuts, um, I'm going to attract all sorts of fish. So last night, it was non-stop with liners. It's it just keeping you awake all night, the liners. And um, yeah, so you put the bobbin in, fr in front of the buzzer and that eliminates all the liners. <laughs> but you still get the liners, but it just stops the buzzer going off. But um, yeah, it's a good, it's good to have the indicator on as a visual thing. And um, you know about it when you get a pick up, that's for sure. Let's get some bait out. Some bait. Maize, tiger nuts, and a few pineapple 20 millers. Put them out with the old trusty baiting spoon. some barley's out, that should do it. That will do. The morning pickup. <laughs> oh, I love it. Another morning pickup. I'm a second fish of the night. Oh, it's morning now, but both on the same rod. Looks looks an half decent cap as well. That. It feels heavy. <laughs> Tire out. <sighs> wow, strong, strong fish. Doesn't want to give in. <laughs> I 
<laughs> with a jump in there. Beautiful looking cave. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's almost ready. Cool. Thanks, Internet. <laughs> Looking fish. Oh yes, lovely looking fish that is. This is the first first light comment. <laughs> what a great fight up! Absolutely stunning fish from this canal. Still got a bit of life left in it yet. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Okay, this one's about £27, £27, £28. It's an absolutely beautiful fish. Another great way to start the morning. <laughs> Second car for the night. Got one last night, one this morning. One last night was just a bit bigger, just over £30. Beautiful, let's put him back. I'm clean out, love. This is a carp had about two hours ago, about an hour before light. It's a stunning fish, this one. Oh, how golden this fish is. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Calm down, I'm gonna put you back. I'm gonna put you back, calm down. Yes, look at that. 30 pound of golden common carp from the canal. So happy with that one. Oh, happy with them all. Eight, eight fish, now we're on number eight. Trip's going really well. <laughs> In fact, it's just, um, doing better than really well. It's absolutely fantastic. Yes. Well, that's it now. All packed, packed down, ready to go. From two nights here. And eight carp, so it's been an incredible session. I know I could stay and catch more carp, but um, that's what it's not all about for me. I, I like the adventure, so um, just as much. So, yeah, packed up. I'm gonna find a totally new spot on a canal I've never fished before. One thing's for sure if you don't keep trying and keep trying different spots, you never know what's gonna be about. So, yeah, brilliant trip, and um, on to the next section, let's see what it brings. Got one night left and then uh, who knows? Yes. Well, this is the last leg of our little canal trip, me and Shaz. Shaz is up there, catching a few sun rays. And um, I've come to this lovely service station. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a service station's goal, it's nice. But I've always wanted to fish here. It's like a little island there little boat mooring just there so you get boats coming in and out um, restaurant um, yeah it's full services there and then you've got the main canal at the back of this island so yeah i've always thought there's going to be a few cat knocking around here got a bit of extra heat in the winter time coming from the restaurant and the cafe the carp love love a few boats it's got boats as well it's a bit different but being down honest i've no idea there's any carp at all in this section but We'll soon find out. Got three rods out. We've got one either side of the island, and we've got one just walked up that margin by the boats. Yeah, let's see. I don't know if there's any crayfish in here, but we will find out when the canal goes up there, and then it's up there as well. Yes, 
come on. <laughs> Certainly makes a change from the um, last section, but yeah, love a bit of variety, can't beat it, a bit of adventure. All the rods are out, all ready to rock. I have um, inspected a couple of baits and there's no cray damage at all, which is, um, I'm disappointed about that. Because where there's crayfish is carp and there's, there's obviously um, no crayfish knocking about. But um, it's not to say there's no carp, but this is funny. Me and Shaz. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a good time, sweetheart. I'm loving it. I yeah. love fishing by motorway. I love it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shh. Don't be giving the location away. <laughs> but check this out. It's, we're on a real steep slope. And... Um, so I've had to put, um, I've gone around and found some rocks. I've got rocks underneath the bed chair leg. So Shaz is on like a different level to me. She's out two foot higher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I found a bit of wood on the mine as well. But I'm still on a slope. But yeah, it'd be fun in the night if we get a pick up. <laughs> Let's hope we do. What do you think, love? What the chances are? Well, your rods are out, look, so you just never know. Oh, yeah, good attitude, that. And that's part, oh, that's that's a lot of the fun for me, the exploring part. Could have stayed where we was. Sure, I would have caught more cart, but... Exploring, finding new stretches. Until you try them, you just never know what's going to happen. So let's see what happens tonight. They're all packed up now. Absolutely. Nothing, nothing at all from this section. No signs of any carp, no indications. Got zero liners, no crayfish marks on any of the hook baits. So who knows, there might not be a single carp in this section. Um, there's certainly no crayfish, that's for sure. We're around here. Didn't hear no carp, but yeah. That's exploring for you. You keep trying these different sections and you stumble across a good one, but yeah. Yeah, I love the old exploring, so. Let's keep at it, and yeah, to next time, what a great trip. Four nights, eight carp over two days. Two sections didn't catch anything at all, but yeah, one of the sections where I didn't catch no carp, there was loads of crayfish, so I'm definitely gonna go back there, um, because I'm sure it'll be one or two real nice as about, but yeah, that's it, what a great trip. On to the next adventure. <laughs>